This is Kenneth Duran of the Los Angeles Times, and this is my DVD Pick of the Week. This week I'm going to deal with documentaries, with really particularly artistic documentaries, documentaries I'm a huge fan of, and documentaries that are made from footage that other people shot, but used in a very specific, very wonderful way. The first one is called The Great Flood. The director is Bill Morrison. This uses footage shot, newsreel footage shot during the great floods in the South in the 1920s. And this old newsreel footage has been edited together to beautiful haunting music by Bill Frizzell. This is a real aesthetic experience that puts you in another time and place in a very moving way. The other documentary is really a particular favorite of mine. It's called Los Angeles Plays Itself. It's a look at the very different ways Los Angeles has been portrayed on film in all kinds of films since the beginning of movies to the present day. This is put together by a man named Tom Anderson. It's a funny, sardonic, acerbic documentary. It'll make you think about the movies and Los Angeles' place in them. A real movie shoot can create a better public spectacle than the fake movie studio tours. In a city where only a few buildings are more than a hundred years old, where most traces of the city's history have been effaced, a place can become a historic landmark because it was once a movie location. As it is for people, so it is for places getting into the movies becomes a substitute for achievement. Actors have headshots. Buildings get architectural photographs. Also on the documentary front, though not a DVD, is Claude Lodsman's epic film, Shoah, which is now available through the Sundance Now Doc Club for streaming video. This is the first time this very impressive film has been made available this way. <laughs> 